If there's one thing that Democrats and Republicans can agree on, it's that Parkinson's disease sucks. Today on World Parkinson's Day, I'm here to tell you that I've come to learn this firsthand. And that's because I've learned that I too have Parkinson's or what some people call PD for short. PD is a movement disorder. It starts in the brain and affects people's bodies in different ways. Over the past few months, it has primarily affected my speech and how my mouth moves. You may notice I speak more quickly now. It has also affected how I walk and keep my balance. All right, welcome back to GMA3. That was Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton sharing her recent Parkinson's diagnosis. And since her announcement, uh, she has been committed to raising awareness and support for those also affected by the disease. According to the Parkinson's Foundation, Parkinson's is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder in the U.S., affecting as many as one million Americans. And here to tell us more about her diagnosis and journey is Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good to see you. Thank you for having me today. It's Thank you for to sharing your story, but also we just want to see how are you doing I'm doing great thank you I was up this morning I went to the gym and I tried my first boxing workout this would be really helpful for me That's I feel fantastic I'm really glad to be here I'm glad to be spreading the word about Parkinson's disease yeah you're doing really well uh, real quick a lot of people like to stay private when it comes to their health what made you want to go public with your diagnosis well, I felt like, you know, of the 90,000 or so people who are diagnosed every year in the U.S., I felt like I was one of the few who could actually do something about it. So I wanted to speak out and speak publicly about it, you know, and tell people that you can still live a good life with Parkinson's and just tell them about, you know, looking out for the symptoms and see if, they, if they're experiencing to make sure that they actually get medical attention sooner rather than later. And Congresswoman, you mentioned your symptoms. There's not one test for Parkinson's. It's a diagnosis of exclusion. But so many people hearing your story want to know if their symptoms could be symptoms of Parkinson's. So can you tell us a little bit about your diagnosis journey and, and what was telling you that something wasn't right? Sure, it was a long journey. It was a very long journey for me. It started with my, my toes would clench and, and curl at the end of the night. They clench up and, and curl up under, under my toes and under my, to under my feet. It made it really hard for me to sleep, and I was like, gosh, this is weird. I thought it was just because I was, I was you know, walking a lot here at the Capitol. I was walking 20,000 steps a day a lot of times. So I figured that was what it was, but it turns out that it wasn't. It turns out that it's this early symptom of Parkinson's disease. So, you know, when I, I actually, actually, it took me two years to get to get my, to Google my symptoms, and then I did, and I saw that, 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 that was what it was. It kicked me out. I was like, I'm far too young for this. So then I went to the doctor. She said it looked like Parkinson's. She referred me to a neurologist. And so began the long journey of getting my diagnosis. This disease affects so many Americans. Why did you think it was so important for you to share your story and for people to talk about this? Because, I mean, I'm kind of young for somebody with, with uh, Parkinson's. When I, when I first was diagnosed, I had the same preconceived notions about other people, which were misconceptions about what it is. You know, I thought, I thought that, you know, only old men got Parkinson's, and that's not true. I mean, more and more women are getting diagnosed. I thought you could get it until you were 60s or 70s. That was wrong, too. I mean, I was much younger than that when I got it. So, I mean, it's just a lot of people think they have misconceptions. I want to make sure that they set the record straight and also be clear about getting, getting treatment if you feel like you have bad symptoms. As a lawmaker, what will your fight for a cure look like? We have a piece of legislation called the End Parkinson's Disease Act. It's the, the act to end Parkinson's disease. We need a national plan to do it. It was something that we will, we're going to fight for in Congress, something that would create a national plan to prevent, treat, and cure Parkinson's eventually, um, hopefully sooner rather than later, and also to bring resources to, to all of these parts of it. I'm going to work on all of that when I'm in Congress. I serve on the Appropriations Committee. Getting the resources is something that's really important to me. All right, it is good to have you on the front lines there. Congresswoman Wexton, uh, thank you a lot for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Take care. Bye. You know what's amazing is to see someone living with a chronic condition, a serious diagnosis, continuing to work, continuing to give back, um, is part of the therapeutic journey, and it's so inspiring. And it also gives, yeah, it gives hope to yeah, so many people. Absolutely. It's incredible That's what great. she's doing. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.